We hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, last week, we had the opportunity to visit Washington, D.C. and advocate on behalf of the chiropractic profession to your senators and your congresspersons uh, across the state. It was uh, a number of uh, chiropractic physicians as well as a number of students from uh, uh, several different colleges around the area, including uh, National Logan and Palmer. Uh, it was a fantastic several days, and uh, your issues were very well received by your congressmen and your senators and their staff. Uh, in fact, we dealt with a number of issues, including uh, uh, chiropractic physicians on staff with VA hospitals. We still have 100 of 160 or so uh, VA hospitals that do not have a chiropractic physician on staff. We still struggle through uh, the choice option, which is the referral portion where they can refer to chiropractic physicians uh, outside of the VA system. And uh, we, we worked with them, with the congresspersons and with the senators, as well as we also uh, worked very much on the, uh, on the Medicare equality initiative that we were working with the uh, with the American Chiropractic Association with for the last uh, well many years but really pointedly over the last year uh, but today we're going to talk about something a little bit different we're going to talk about acupuncture in the Medicare population uh, many of our doctors have been submitting acupuncture to Medicare uh, with the GY modifier and what you're finding is uh, the EOBs are coming back that it's not the patient's responsibility. Uh, the way that this should be happening is, is actually due to some quirky language within, uh, within the Social Security Act and with some of the definitions regarding acupuncture, uh, it actually requires an ABN form, which is a little bit different than most other non-covered services or statutorily non-covered services. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that on, on acupuncture services that you obtain an ABN form, have the patient sign it, and then you're going to submit that bill with a GA modifier and not a GY modifier. Uh, so you do have to obtain the, the ABN form in advance of acupuncture. You do have to submit it with a GA form and then it will, or GA modifier, and then it will actually come back uh, with the appropriate uh, codes to make sure that the patient knows that they are responsible for that bill. Uh, so there's your nugget of information for this week, and uh, we look forward to talking to you next, next week. Thank you.